Everybody, whether rich, poor, educated, uneducated, uh, or believer or non-believer, everyone want happy life. There's no question, no need investigation. <laughs> he calls himself a simple Buddhist monk, but he is called the Dalai Lama because he's believed to be a reincarnated Buddha. The exiled spiritual leader of Tibet is something of a rock star, meeting with everyone from Richard Gere to Barack Obama. He's a Nobel Peace Prize winner, but China's government calls him a criminal. He recently called on Beijing to release the newest Nobel laureate, political dissident Liu Jiabo, from jail. He has almost a million followers on Twitter, but admits his staff tweets his thoughts. We caught up with him on his latest tour of North America. I first asked the now 75-year-old Dalai Lama about his future. You think you would retire? Oh, yes. Your, when might that happen? That I don't know. Uh, usually, now, now, recently, in South India, we have one big sort of meeting. Uh, at that time, I asked the people, the, the, the meeting, whether I have the human right or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that if, if I, I also human being, uh, if, if, I mean, naturally, I also have the human right. So, including retirement, mm -hmm. also my right. But is there, people would really want to know if you're considering retirement, is this something you're considering in the short term or in the much longer term? Uh, sooner or later, mm -hmm. I have to go. Now my age, now over 75. So next 10 years or 20 years, one day I will go. So many world leaders over the last five or six years, for instance, uh, the leaders of countries uh, who met with you readily 10, 15 years ago are, it seems, more reluctant to meet with you so as not to anger China. Mm. Do you, do you, is that something that you feel is yeah, some cases fair to say? In some cases it happened, mm -hmm. but that doesn't matter. <laughs> My main sort of uh, interest is meeting with the public. Not few leaders. And of course, uh, occasionally, uh, I have certain sort of political agenda. That's uh, my visit to Washington or Brussels. And then uh, I usually you see, have the opportunity meeting with leader, like including Obama. Uh, uh, but then usually, wherever I go, non-political. Right. Oh, so, uh, not much relevant meeting with leaders. So if they find a little bit inconvenience, then of course, absolutely okay. It's not something that. No, no. That my main as I earlier, my main sort of concern is promote promotion of human value, promotion of religious harmony. These two things very much related with public, not few individual leaders. We have someone asking a very simple question. One of our viewers, when I said I was going to um, interview you, and she asked. What, what is the most important thing to do in life? Not to be, but to do. In order to get happiness, satisfaction, we usually you see, put so much sort of attention about education and material value. Now there are, you see, cases, very highly educated, very intelligent person, but very unhappy. And very rich, even billionaire as a person, very unhappy. So therefore, uh, besides material values and education, another factor, that's warm-heartedness, more compassionate attitude. So if that is there, even without much, much money, uh, without much education, the person can be a very happy person. And with that, Billionaire can be a very happy billionaire.